What's up everybody? It's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to do a purple glam. I have been obsessed with a purple the past couple of weeks, so I really wanted to do something purple. I'm thinking of doing something pastel, pastel, pastel maybe as well. Um, so if you guys want to know how I'm gonna do that makeup look, then please keep on watching. Also, I'm wearing a matching sweater to the eyeshadow that I'm gonna do. Ugh. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> By the way, ignore these hairs sticking out of my head everywhere. I just blow dry my hair and my hair is still kind of, you know, like really, what's it called? It just looks really wild. Um, but I'm going to start off with my foundation. I'm going to use my Benefit Hello Happy foundation in the color 6. And I'm just going to apply this straight to my face. Oh, that was a little bit too much, but whatever. Um... I did want to prime my face, but I forgot my makeup bag at my boyfriend's house and it had so much makeup in there. So I'm going to have to do with all the makeup that is at home. So I don't have any primer, which sucks, but whatever. I'm just going to blend this out. Um, I always get questions about this brush. It is from Beauty Bay. This is, a, this is a stippling brush and it's a really, really great brush so i'm just gonna blend this out i probably put on a little bit too much foundation but whatever i'm just gonna blend and see how it looks i'm going to do some um cream contouring and also some cream blush so for my contour i'm using the so Devices and jackson contour stick in the shade cool i usually use my warm shade just because i like the um, the color a little bit better but this one is great as well this one is like really good for contouring but when you want to bronze up your face i really love the warm shape but yeah i'm also going to apply a little bit of this nars orgasm the multiple stick so this is a blush stick so this is orgasm in a blush stick form um and it has a lot of glitter in here so it's kind of like a blush slash highlighter i don't know it has a really light pink tone and i love this i'm just gonna use this sponge to press this into the skin you don't need to do a lot of blending with this product because it is really really creamy so i'm just gonna go over it a couple of times for concealer i'm using the benefit boing concealer i'm in the shade number seven and i'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes and a little bit on the sides of my nose and maybe on some scars or like pimples that i have because i have oh my gosh this is a big one i thought this was a scar but then it kept on getting bigger and i was like oh my gosh this is not a scar this is a pimple so <laughs> it sucks so i'm gonna cover that up as well and i'm just gonna blend this out again if you guys are wondering i'm using the Sosa by Suzanne Jackson Beauty Sponge to blend this out. It's a really nice sponge. Kind of reminds me of the Real Techniques one, like this one. I don't really know what the price difference is. Like they also kind of have the same, well, I think it's the same shape. Yeah. This one may be a little smaller. Um, I don't know what the price is of both of them, to be honest. But I like both, so gonna blend this i'm gonna use the Too faced peach perfect powder i'm almost out of this like there is still a little little tiny bit in here or is it all gone hold on I'm just gonna tap this out i still have a little bit left <laughs> this is the last my last Too faced powder i'm just gonna set this with a real techniques beauty sponge I love this powder. It is one of my favorites because it is so fine and like really, really light. And I really love that about powders. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna set my whole face. Just kind of like the T-zone. Underneath my eyes. On the sides of my nose. Make sure 
I'm nice and matte. I'm gonna do some bronzing. I'm gonna use this bronzer that I haven't used in a while. This used to be my favorite one. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is such an old bronzer. I think this is one of the first bronzers that I ever that I've ever purchased. And I still love this one so much. But I just don't really use it that much anymore because I also have a lot of other favorites. My favorite right, my favorite right now is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. It's so good. Then doing a little bit of blusher. Which blush should I use today? I'm gonna use... Hmm. I did already put on blush, but I think I'm just gonna go over with a little bit more. This is MAC Warm Soul, and I also have not used this in a long time, but I love this one as well. It just gives you like a really natural flush of color, natural pink. For highlighter, I am going in with... I think I'm gonna use this palette right here. I haven't used this a lot. Um, I picked this up at TJ Maxx, TK Maxx, I think a couple of months ago. So this is the Laura Geller Dripping in Gold Illuminator, Illuminator Palette. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go into the shade Gilded Honey because that's my favorite. I also love the Molten Copper one, but I feel like it's a little bit too gold for today's look. So I think I'm gonna stick to Gilded Honey, which is kind of like, I mean, it's a mix of gold and champagne tones kind of i'm just gonna do a little bit i'm not really a big fan of highlighter like on a day-to-day -day basis i do not wear any highlighter because i just prefer my skin to be matte but i felt like doing something crazy today and going for a little bit more of a dewy skin look that is it for the face makeup um that was actually super super quick and now for the eyeshadow. So I already knew that I wanted to do something purple. And I have two palettes right here. Um, I have this palette right here, which is the Certify... Oh, shit. <gasps> Dip my finger in the black eyeshadow. But as I was saying, this is the Certify Tropical Wonders palette. And it has some really nice purple shadows in here, um, such as this one. This is the Firefish shade. And I also really like this one, Hibiscus but it's not really purple. Um, and I also have this palette right here. This one's from Colourpop, and I've, I'm not really sure if I use this in a video already. I'm probably, like, I'm pretty sure I use it on TikTok, like in a TikTok tutorial. But this one, I think I'm gonna use this one instead because it has this shade right here and it matches my um, sweatshirt perfectly. It's called Zoned Out. It's a really, really nice pastel pastel i really don't know how to pronounce that word but it's a really nice pastel color and i think i'm gonna use this one i'm going in to the lila q a lot palette from ColourPop, and i'm first going to put down the shade okay so i want to <laughs> so what i have in mind for this eyeshadow look is i want to do a pastel purple on the eyelids and on the crease and then i want to do a darker purple on the lower lash line and then i have this purple mascara like a really really like again pastel um mascara pastel purple mascara oh my god and i want to do that mascara on my bottom lashes i'm going in with a flat brush right here this is also from Beauty Bay. This is called the Shade Out Brush. And it looks like this. Really nice and flat. And I think I'm just going to go straight into the color that I just pointed out. The Zoned Out shade. And I'm going to pack this on my lid. And see if it's pigmented enough for my liking. It's kind of a little bit powdery. But we can work with it. And I'm just going to... Oh my god. It is a pigmented AF. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pack it 
all over my lid and also all up in my crease. I think it's showing up a little bit more pigmented in real life than it is on camera. I don't know if it's still lighting or I don't know. But I'm going to pack this on my lid and also into my crease just with this flat brush. Kind of going to create a V shape right here. Like a little bit. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch over to a blending brush right here. This one is from BH Cosmetics. Number 8 brush from the Neon Collection. And I'm just going to make sure it's nice and blended. And there is no harsh lines. Okay, now that the pastel is on both eyes, I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. And as I said, I'm going to do a really, really nice deep purple. So I'm using this um, flat shader brush right here. This is from Beauty Bay as well. This is called On Fleek. I'm pretty sure this is a brow brush, but I use it for eyeshadow. So I'm going to dip into the color Filtered which is this nice deep purple color right here. And I'm gonna go into my color with this brush and I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with this. Ooh, that's nice. That is such a nice shade. And I'm going to make my lower lash line pretty smoky and I'm also gonna drag it out pretty like far down. I will show you guys in a minute, so I'm first going to put it down like this, kind of like pack on the color so it's nice and pigmented. And then I'm going to take a... I'm not really sure what this... Oh, this is called the Masterpiece Crease Brush by MOTD Cosmetics. It looks like this. Kind of like a really tiny brush. I'm going to go into the same color and blend this out and also drag it down to make it really nice and smoky like that maybe i should do a little bit more a little bit more and drag it down like this and then i'm gonna kind of like wing it up right here to make a v shape it looks really, really, like, heavy right now on the bottom, but it's going to come together when we put on lashes. For my inner corner, I'm going to use the shade... Hmm. I'm going to use the shade Cloud right here, up in the corner. I'm going to take a small brush like this again, and I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighting right there in the inner corner. Love a bit of inner corner highlight. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, jeez. Okay, so for lashes today, I'm going all out. I'm going to use the Sosa Bices and Jackson Taylor Lashes. They are very, very dramatic and long, but I'm just going to do these today because I feel like doing something crazy. Oh, my God. These lashes are absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh i am obsessed they are so dramatic but i think it goes really really well with this eye look i feel like i mean for my liking they are a little bit too long but i think it's also like because of my eye shape because i do have a little bit hooded eyes but like oh my god Okay, so now to finish off the eyes, I'm going in with the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. And this is the color. I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. I'm really excited. I've never used this mascara before, so I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like. Okay, here we go. Um... It's not really showing up that well. Maybe I should do a couple of coats of this. I feel like you have to apply a lot of this mascara for it to show up. So I'm just going to do a couple of coats. And then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I'm kind of getting Mad Hatter vibes. But I also low-key fuck with it. 
I'm not too sure yet. It's just really extreme. Um, I mean, like, I love the overall look and everything. It's really nice. So, now, the last part is lips. And I actually only have one lip liner at home. And I think it's gonna work. Um, because the rest of my lip liner is still at Jelano's house. Um, I really have to sharpen this pencil because it... It looks crusty. Let's see how it looks. eyes are so watery so so watery okay so now for lipstick i'm going in with the doll beauty lipstick and the color c'est la vie it's a really really light nude Hi guys, it's Georgina from the future. So I was kind of dumb and I forgot to film an outro and I also forgot to film the cute little part where I show you guys the end result of the makeup tutorial. Um, I did take a lot of pictures though. I will insert them on the screen right here. I took so much pictures. So much, so many, oh my gosh. Took so many pictures. Um, the reason that I forgot to film those things is because I was really, really hungry and I hadn't eaten all day so i was kind of dizzy um but yeah still i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time of every single time I upload a new video <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next video i still have freaking purple eyeshadow underneath my eyes okay bye